right. Uh, Robot Unicorn here, and today I'm going to tell you how to put PS2 buttons inside of an Xbox 360 controller. Now, as you can see, I have them in there right now, along with PS2 control sticks. Um, and see, what happened was I was just messing around with my Torque 8X screwdriver, taking apart the controller, putting in different colors, as you saw there, the black and white. And I thought, hey, why not take out my old PS2 controllers in the back and see if I can put some buttons or control sticks in here. And what I found was uh, that PS2 buttons are actually about two-thirds the size of Xbox 360 buttons. So, um, you know, it was I was like, oh, man, darn, I can't put them in there. But then I thought, what if I just, you know, since I have two controllers, maybe I could use two sets of buttons. So what I did, I took some sandpaper, and I shaved down the buttons to about half the size of uh, the Xbox buttons so that I just put two on top of each other as you can see again I'll let you look at that there's just one underneath it so that way it's like there's one but you know there's really two there and see this is the only one that could come out these other three can't um, it's just because uh, this on the side is shorter than the other ones and I'm, I mean I meant to glue them in there I didn't have enough time to do that but I'm gonna go back take apart the controller and go ahead and glue those buttons in there so it can't fall out um, and yeah, the only thing I would recommend is uh, shaving them outside because I made the mistake of trying to do it indoors and it made a mess everywhere. So um, go ahead and do that outside because it makes a nice, colorful, powdery mess. Um, as far as the control sticks go, they are really easy to put in. It's just like the other control sticks. They just click right in there. They fit perfectly. It's just it's hard trying to get them through these holes. You really have to force them through there, and um, that's all there is to it. Uh, if you have any questions, comment or send me a message and I'll be happy to answer them.